Hey guys, what's up? It's Mom Kozaki. So, in this vlog, I'm still doing Slayer, and I wanted to talk about a few things kind of in real life. So, the reason why I'm doing Aquanites right now, even though I've kind of said in the past past vlogs that you never really want to do the Slayer task because it's boring and the drops are bad and the XP isn't greatest, but I had canceled, like, I don't know, a ton of Slayer tasks in a row, and I just got a bit fed up with it, so I said, you know, screw it, I'll just do Aquanites because I didn't actually get assigned very many of them. Um, but what I wanted to talk to you guys about is actually my car that I bought today. I actually um, got it all licensed and everything so I can now drive and I've got the insurance all figured out. And if you've ever bought a car before, you know what it's like. There's a lot of different factors going into it. So I wanted to show you guys exactly what I got. Um, I wasn't actually able to record my actual car. It's out in the driveway right now in front of the house, but I can't record it because I don't really have a camera at the moment, anything to record it with. I could record it with my phone, but my phone has extremely terrible picture quality, so I figured I'd just Google image it. And this is the car I got. Um, it looks exactly like this. Um, it's it's the same color and everything. It pretty much looks just like this one. So it's actually a 1995 Geo Prism. And for you non-car geeks out there, um, you probably wouldn't know this, but it's actually a Toyota Corolla. Um, I believe the Geo Prism and the Toyota Corolla are, they have interchangeable parts, so the engine is the same. Um, all the interior parts are the same. The exterior looks a little bit different, but other than that, it's pretty much a 1995 Toyota Corolla. I think I got a pretty good deal about it. It cost me 1800 and it only has like 113,000 miles on it. It's pretty well kept up. Uh, it needs a new windshield because it's got a really big crack in it, but other than that, it's a great car, and uh, I've driven around a little bit today, and it's actually a lot of fun to drive, and I really like it, so there's my car. It's actually the first car I've ever purchased myself, so I'm pretty excited about that, um, and if you haven't bought your first car, you know that it's one of the bigger purchases you make earlier on in your life, and of course, there's a lot of factors that have to go into it, because you have to like pay for gas and auto insurance and all that. Um, so that's going to take a big cut out of my paycheck uh, every month actually having to pay for this thing. Um, and I do owe some money on it. I paid about 1000 down and I have to pay back uh, another 800 to fully pay off the car because I only had 1000 But anyway, um, it's a great car so far. I'm really liking it. I have a feeling that me and this thing are going to last for at least a couple years together. So anyway, I'm really excited about that. That's probably the main thing in my life right now that I'm pretty pumped about so I no longer have to borrow my grandparents car going to work because I've been having to do that and of course that isn't the best thing you know driving someone else's car and stuff and I wasn't technically insured while driving it so it was also illegal but anyway um, I now have my own transportation so that's pretty exciting don't have to rely on others anymore to get to where I want to go um, anyway that's just the main thing going on right now and in game, I've had a couple of cool things happen lately. Um, I just recently got 75 mil defense. I got that last night. I'm obviously well past that now, but um, that's that's kind of cool. That means I'm three eighths of the way to 200 mil defense. So I might get that someday. We'll see how that goes. And I'm also just working on that Slayer. Uh, pretty much just been doing Slayer lately. One thing I wanted to ask you guys about is, is it just me? Am I going at the wrong times? Or is World 77 Engineering like completely empty for anyone else? Because the last few times I've gone there, uh, there has been like legitimately no one there. And the other day I went to World 77 and I only had uh, warped floors left. And there was literally like five people there. Um, in the area where most people stand when they want warped floors, like the higher level engineers, they normally sit, stand on like the right side of the of the dungeoneering lobby, whatever you want to call it, where everyone stands when they're uh, waiting to get floors and everything, there was legitimately like only five people there, and I said, you know, I want to do a warped, and uh, no one really responded, so I ended up actually just soloing my warps because I didn't have any other floors that I could do because they're all checked off, and it felt like j just such a huge waste, but the last few times I've gone to World 77, there's just been no one there for the most part. It's like completely dead, and it wasn't like that until about a week ago, so I don't know. I was just wondering if like I'm going at the wrong times, because I've been typically going when I get off work, which is you know fairly late, so I can understand if I'm just probably going at the wrong time of day, but it just seems weird how I'm going there and there's like no one there to engineer with, which means I'm ending up to solo, and that's a huge waste of XP when you solo your higher level floors, but anyway, that was just, I guess, kind of frustrating. 
So um, it looks like if this is going to continue, I don't know if a lot of people have been quitting lately for any reason whatsoever, or if um, I guess more and more people are just losing their love for engineering. Kind of sucks, but that you just got to roll with it. But anyway, um, other than engineering, I've just been you know keeping up in the Slayer. Um, I'm actually nearing, I'm getting pretty close to 1,000 tasks in a row, and I'm probably going to make a pretty special video once I actually achieve that milestone. I believe once I complete this task, it will be my 965th task in a row, if I'm remembering correctly. So I'm getting pretty close to 1,000 tasks in a row, which is, you know, a pretty big milestone for Slayer, considering every single one of those tasks is through Curadel, so I didn't do a whole bunch of little newbie tasks because, um, of course, I haven't always used Curadel, but a long time ago when I was like 80 Slayer or something, I did a noob move and I like reset my tasks in a row by using one of the lower level Slayer Masters. And that kind of sucked. But anyway, um, I'm also lagging quite bad. I'll close out of this other window. Yeah, that should help a little bit. But anyway, um, obviously, as you can tell, uh, my computer obviously needs to be upgraded. You can just look at the screen and pretty much understand that pretty well. So my very next purchase after I completely get my car paid off and everything is going to be a new PC. Um, I'm going to immediately start saving up for that as soon as I get my car completely paid off because as you can see, um, just looking at the screen and everything, it, this is a bit ridiculous. And it's going to, I think it's probably um, sooner rather than later going to become impossible to actually even make YouTube videos on this computer just because it's so old. Um, I believe this computer is actually a 2006 it's uh, a gateway it's you know it, it's it was pretty nice of a computer like um, seven years ago or whatever but these days it obviously doesn't hold up so if I'm gonna continue to make YouTube videos which I absolutely want to do I'm gonna have to upload or upgrade my computer as soon as possible so until then, until then just probably expect um, videos which might be a bit laggy and stuff I'll try my best at the moment there's not really a whole lot I can do because I can't afford a new PC quite yet but luckily um, that won't be the case too much longer and as soon as possible I will be getting a new PC um, because I definitely want to continue making YouTube videos I haven't lost my love for that but anyway that's about all for this vlog um, just know that that's I guess my plans for the future really excited about getting my first car that is actually mine um, that's going to be real fun just being able to go out and Whenever I want to go out of the house, I don't have to borrow someone else's car. I don't have to ask for a ride. I can actually just drive my own. And, of course, um, I don't know how long it's going to take to save up for a new PC. It's probably going to take a month worth of paychecks to pay off what I owe on the current car. And then probably another month to um, actually afford to buy a new computer because I obviously want to buy a pretty nice one. Um, and that's going to cost around 800 to to 1000 um, I'm guesstimating. So you can expect me to actually be able to, uh, I guess, go back to recording videos that are pretty uh, high quality within a couple months. But anyway, we'll see how that goes. For now, just hang with me, guys. I'll do my best to record videos, but it's just getting laggier and laggier by the day. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching this video, regardless. And uh, I'll see you guys in my friends' chat in-game. And farewell.